Wait is over. Bucky's newest location is now open, and fans couldn't be more excited. It's right off 75 in Melissa, northeast of McKinney in Collin County. Our JD Miles is live there, where he spoke with a couple who moved to Melissa just to be near Bucky's. JD. Mm -hmm. Can you believe that, Gilma? There's a famous movie line that says, if you build it, they will come. That quote could apply to this Bucky's, which is packed right now, as you can see behind me. And it's had a huge amount of customers all day on its opening day here in Melissa. A photo with a giant inflatable beaver was just the start for Erica and Michael Simon, who came to celebrate a special occasion. Uh, today is our 19-year wedding anniversary. If the couple's anniversary lunch at the brand new Bucky's and Melissa doesn't prove how wildly popular the Texas travel stop chain is, then maybe the Anderson family's decision to move nearby from Kansas City will. The reason why we chose to build in Melissa versus Frisco or Anna is because of the Bucky's, because we lived near the one in Terrell and we saw how the area exploded. The 50,000 square foot lot along Highway 75 has 88 fuel stations and 200 employees. But the managers, believe it or not, are most proud of their toilets. We're going to take the world over, JD, one clean restroom at a time. This is the fifth Bucky's in North Texas, and already drawing hundreds on its first day. Oh, we had this on our calendar for months. Meg McGonigal and her six year old son Ben came to collect a basket full of Bucky staples. Cap gun. We've got carrots for the lunchbox tomorrow. You got to have your beaver nuggets. Jerky. Pecans. Pecans. Don't forget the brisket. A football. And we haven't even talked about how this is putting Melissa on the map here in Collin County, according to a lot of people. Another Bucky's will soon open in Roy City, and two others are planned. Uh, one for Ennis, and the other hasn't been announced yet, but I'm going to break it right here. Get ready. Waxahachie. Live in Melissa, J.D. Miles, CBS 11 News.